I'll be giving the facets demo training. Okay, so about mind magics. So they have 10 years of experience into trainings, all kind of trainings, like nine plus years of serving e-learning industries. Again, they have reputed corporates around the globe. So it is like 110 reputed corporates around the globe. And even 450,000 plus professionals have got trained or got certified from mind magics 500 plus technologies they are delivering online trainings on videos and other other study materials so i have 10 years of experience working into it or healthcare industry okay out of which four years i have spent as a facets trainer facets plus us basic healthcare trainer my core skills are facets configuration development facets hosting facets system administration side as well i've worked on and facets testing. So mainly I'm working on uh, facets testing as well as uh, doing business analyst role currently. Okay, so I have completed my certifications as well from Trizato. So there were two main certifications which are F FBAC, that is Facets Business Associate Certification and Facets Technical Associate Certification. So business was just an overview of like uh, facets product, like we need to create a product, map a member to a group, and create a claim and the claim should be with the correct provider who is having a correct agreement and the authorization should be attached. So in technical certification, we have to create a batch wherein it should execute and load members through EDI file. And other few certifications I have gone through that is product and network certifications. Today's agenda is the basics of US healthcare. What is a product? How it is configured? How a CPE limit or deductible is configured? Product variable component or product business components are configured? And what is line of business? Why it is important? Then facets pricing. So how pricing is calculated for a claim or a product? How fee schedules are attached? How an agreement is being picked for a product on a particular claim? How an agreement is mapped? How a network is identified? And this all will come under claim processing and then data model as well. So how tables are joined. So usually facets is a blend of both UI and backend. So how these tables would be joined, how data would be transmitted from one table to another table, how stored procedures are pulled, when a trigger is being called, all that will be looking at the today's agenda. So the course curriculum would be, these are the applications which we have, like application support, subscriber family. So under application support, we'll get all kind of codes, that is diagnosis codes, place of service, procedure code, revenue code, user defined codes explanation codes so these are codes which are being given by the cms are being stored over here and used in the claims while claim processing if it is a valid or not valid if it is termed not termed even if it is termed what would be the denial reason for that termination everything would be mentioned in this application support then we have subscriber family to enroll a subscriber in facets, we need to have valid group for that. Then only we'll be able to enroll a subscriber. And enrolling a subscriber, we can en uh, enroll it using two applications. First is subscriber family and enrollment application is also there in facets. So those two applications, using these applications, we can enroll a member. And then finally, the eligibility comes into picture. So eligibility plays a vital role in facets or we can say claims adjudication because this is the first step of claims processing. So if a member does not have valid eligibility or is termed, then facets will not process the claim further and directly deny the claim as a member does not have eligibility. Moving on to the next slide, we have medical plan. So this is an application wherein our product is configured and all the sub modules of a product are created in this medical plan application. So this we have one is medical plan for medical products and another we have dental plan for dental products. So under medical plan, we have class plan definition, which is being attached to a product. So class plan definition attaches a group and a product together. Then we have plan description. So plan is nothing but a marketing name of a product which is being used outside facets. And in facets, we know plan as a product. So product ID is an eight digit number which is used for processing in facets. Then we have service ID description which is again attached to SEDF and then to a SEPI. Then we have product, product components. Uh, these components are fixed and variable components. 
so two components we have then we have deductible limit and sub service payment so these rules are basically the variable component part of a product and service procedure conversion service revenue conversion scqc spcr srcr spct srct the older roger of spcr and srcr are again comes under product fixed components then we have scdf ipmc scdf is nothing but the service definition if a service id requires authorization or not or a referral or if it requires both referral and authorization that is being accounted in scdf in ipmc authorization or referral is counted from product uh, procedure code perspective then we have pca pcas are like small robots which we use for pending or processing our claims like pen deny or pay so there are small logics or we have criteria if a claim meets that criteria then we can set a action as in if a claim should be pended paid or denied whatever it is maybe a old rule can be specified in pca as well then we have warning messages and user messages so these two are different why because warning messages are system generated warning messages or inbuilt or prefixed in the system and user warning messages are manually created or a user has created for their own use so this is this is the difference between warning message and user warning message moving on to the next slide we have claim processing so there are basically four types of claims in claim processing medical claim processing hospital claim processing dental claim processing and vision claim processing but usually dental and vision would not be processed in facets so most of the time we'll get medical and hospital claims itself so medical claim is a claim which is billed on hcfa 1500 that is healthcare claims finance administration or we can see it as cms 1500 and hospital claim is billed on ub09 so both the forms are different their fields are different so medical claim form will have 33 fields in it and hospital claim form will have around 92 fields in it so for hospital we need more information but medical it is like just less information is needed again a provider can bill individual provider can bill a medical claim but he cannot bill a hospital claim a hospital only can bill a hospital claim so when it comes to provider so we have different kinds of providers like practitioner facility and ipas groups so practitioner is nothing but an individual provider who is practicing his healthcare at his own clinic or lab so again for identifying this practitioners we have nwst set in cspi that is class plan So NWS is nothing but the network set application which assigns a network to a provider through which we can identify if a provider is a in network or out of network provider. So according to that, the payment should be uh, assigned to a provider. Maybe in network will have higher pay grades. Out of network would have lower pay grades. Then we have networks. So networks qualifier group and medical agreement. configurator this is agag so everything about a agreement which is being uh, done between a provider and a payer so basically a contract will be done under this networks application so it it will have a fee schedule so basically like in a fee schedule we will have n number of product uh, procedure codes and uh, an assigned value to those procedure codes how much they'll uh, get reimbursed if they are billing that particular procedure code so this would be the introduction of the facets the, the total duration would be of 25 hours and the time duration would be like mind magic would be telling us what would be the time duration and the fee content for the same so this will include facets product training so it will have uh, it will include how to build a product from scratch and how to assign benefits to them then facets networks training how to create an agreement then we have claims training then we have data model so data model again would be having all the uh, parts of the back end how tables work okay so facets what is facets so facets is nothing but a, it is an integrated healthcare application which was uh, designed in java and .net base like it is most widely used in us for claim processing for many of the clients and the latest version of facets which we are working on is 5.7.03 so 03 is the r3 release 
so there are few more changes uh, cognizant is going to introduce in coming months version would be changing very soon so the facets certifications are facets benefit course facets network course and facets claim course and this is how you'll be getting a certification from mind magics for your successful completion of this course so apart from this course what extra we would be getting is an edi outline or we can say just an introduction to edi what is edi how an edi file is created and how it is interpreted in facets so an edi file generally it gets converted into x12 and from there it enters into facets a direct edi cannot be entered into facets so again we have multiple jobs which takes care of this so a small introduction to edi would be covered under this session and again there will be three live projects which will be working on so the first would be to configure a new configure or update a new product in facets from scratch like creating a product shell to a linking product components fixed and variable components and then project 2 would be to create an agreement in facets so creating an agreement uh, updating or adding qualifiers to any terms or adding global agreements and fee schedules and the last project would be uh, processing a medical and a hospital claim so which all fields are required while creating a medical or a hospital claim in facets what are their uh, criteria to build that the received date criteria or the date of service criteria how the charge amount should be calculated how the build amount should be calculated so everything would be covered under the project 3 lab setup would be prerequisite would be will have to have a facet access and the version should be 5.7.03 so even lower versions can work but just the thing is will not have few additional changes which this latest version has otherwise it would work it would not have any issue so apart from this we have these additional courses for facets so like these are the multiple applications or we can say modules of facets accounting accumulators application support benefit configuration then these all applications come together and process a claim so the final output of a claim processing is being possible just because of all these applications are there at their places so again uh, mind magic helps us in mock interviews just uh, conducting some demo interviews so that we'll get confident while our actual interviews the similar questions or like what are the possible questions they'll be asking or scenario based questions about um, subscriber eligibility term events so we have an uh, email id over here so if you have any queries or any questions about course timings or any more clarifications you need about fee structure and all you can email at info@mindmagics.com so that's it from my side thank you